Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. You know what time it is. It's coffee with Candace time. I hope you have a really great start to your day and awesome week so far. And of course, I'd like to start by saying thank you to everyone who's been liking, commenting, and sharing. I really appreciate it. So let's just get right to it. This week's topic is this little pin. It says CIPS. And what does that mean? That means I am a certified international property specialist. So not only can I guide you properly with your real estate transactions here in Las Vegas, Henderson, Nevada, the nation, West Coast, I now have the certification and work with over 45 countries and 4,400 of the top producing agents worldwide. So I've started developing excellent working relationships with developers in, in many different countries. So if you ever are considering purchasing outside of the United States, please give me a call. That's what I'm here for. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a tax consultant, but I do have the proper network and the proper tools in order to put you in touch with the right person who can guide you properly, just as though I would guide you properly here. So I'm gonna start um, kind of switching Coffee with Candice over to really dive into what that means each week. And I will be covering a different country and new developments in each country each week. And so this week is the first international Coffee with Candice and we are gonna dive into Belize just a little bit. I am gonna try to keep this very short because I know sometimes you guys don't have a lot of time to watch the full video, but I wanna try to give as much information, as much value as possible. And then of course, please feel free to reach out to me directly uh, with any additional questions. That is what I'm here for and I love talking to you guys about this stuff. So um, let's just get right to it. Belize, I mean, it has been, it was a British colony up until 1981. So it's actually a really great starting, like entry level international purchase for a lot of people because it's uh, the, the native language is English and all of the contracts are done in common law and they are written in English. So it's a very easy segue, I would say, into maybe your first international investment or your first uh, consideration for purchasing outside of the United States. Uh, fun little fact, one in every 10 Americans has considered purchasing outside of the United States, and on average, it takes about six to seven years from the beginning stage of coming up with the thought to do so to actually executing. So even if you're just barely thinking about it, you think, oh, that sounds kind of cool give me a call, I'll put you in touch with the right resources. So I do have a consumer resource guide that will kind of help to guide you um, with any of the particular questions that you would naturally have with what does it entail to go outside of the United States. Um, so in Belize right now, there are four developments that I've been working with and uh, one that was just partnered with Best Western. So it's actually a very affordable community, which is fantastic. Um, the first building is um, almost sold out. They've sold 11 out of 12 units, but they just released, I believe it was last Friday and uh, there's many more to sell. They start at under $100,000. So that's right, within two walking blocks to the beach uh, in the Caribbean for less than $100,000. In addition to that, the, the developer that I'm working with actually has property management in place and rental management in place. So if you just want to make sure that your property is well maintained, they can offer that for a small fee. Um, and if you do actually wanna to start to earn some cash flow and some residual income, uh, they can also help to set it up as a rental property when you're not utilizing the space. So there's another um, luxury branded development, which is starting at 399, going all the way up to 1.2 million. Uh, the developer is actually gonna keep about 60% of those units because it's such a fantastic cash flow property. So they do have um, about 40% of that particular space to sell and uh, that's gonna be very exciting to, to have the Marriott branding behind that development. In addition to that, there are some tiny houses that are on the ocean for under 200,000. So little bungalows that are over the ocean for under 200,000. And then there was a really great development that was uh, a foreclosure property that they've done a nice little flip on and those properties start right around 170 to 180. So there's a lot of affordability in going outside of the United States. So if you ever thought, oh, I would love to buy a property uh, in California on the beach, you know, that's obviously gonna be about five to 10 times the amount uh, that you would be spending. So 
Um, that's just a little tidbit. This is on Belize, so I've got so much more information I'd like to give you, but I just want to give you a little rundown. Um, just know that you, ha if you have any questions, just reach out to me and I look forward to chatting. This stuff is super exciting to me. I love traveling and the reason why I got into this is because I love helping people to understand there really are no boundaries. Like if you have a dream and you want something, there's always a solution. So maybe in your mind you had to purchase in the US or that's just where we start and that's where we're from, but there's so much to capitalize on in this entire world. So let me help you. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Vanderbilt Realty Solutions, I'm here moving you forward. Let's chat about Belize. See you next week. Bye.